first carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And from the 25, they work this to second and six, just inside the 30. Dancing to his left. And he's going to keep it here. Get past the marker depending on what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. They run on first down, but it only... Throwing on second and eight. Newton. This is caught. It's Greg Olson. That one good for... And he's got the hook up to Moore. And this play will be blown up. He'll... On second and 11 now. Newton forced out to his left. And they'll get... On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll take it down here just... And he held on to it, but he probably shouldn't have. As they kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. Here's Newton. Yeah, that will be convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Now Newton. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. CD, that call, it took some guts. It's not like they were at the one-yard line. They had some distance to go. They certainly did, and, you know, a lot of people might say that's fly by the seat of your pants type of coaching, but it's also sending a message out there. We're going to be unpredictable. You can't prepare for anything with us. You never know which way we're going to go. We zig, you zag. And now some serious opening drive momentum. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the ninth. On the bootleg, it's Brissett. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. Putting them up, have them back on their heels. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. On third down, a run by Mack. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. Going for it as they look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Let's go, Give him take first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more happy than the quarterback picking it up, it's the coach that saw him pick it up. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. On second down, it's Hines. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. On third down, Hines. And he's going to have up so far. It's first and ten. Here's Brissett. And that is it. To throw, Brissett. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amped. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. They're kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there. It's almost like... And a big loss here as he's taken down. Off the edge. Very long. Here's Brissett. Incomplete. Here on third down. From the gun, here's Brissett. That's complete to the running back, Naheem Hines. And he'll be taken down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. And forget about it. Throwing on second and four. 
And that gonna be been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. It's third and long for Brisson. They'll find Hines out of the back. And they're gonna fake it. He wants to throw it here. They pass up the three, fake it. Just didn't work. Not at all, and the communication was excellent defensively to make sure that receivers were covered as they escaped from the line. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, 74 yards. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think, you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. Yeah. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Go, go. On third down, Brissett. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. Bruce Irvin drops him for Amy. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball, but how about them just taking it? And maybe the wrong read there is he's going to go down immediately. Get a free shot at the QB. They want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for the loss. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. We'll be alongside him. have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. A pretty good-looking run there on first down. That'll go. So it breaks tackles and creates extra yardage. They almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And that's complete to McCaffrey. Arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And this time, the eight now. Third and goal. Here's Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes. And the 10 year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will do it. For the, all right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And it'll wind up about four. Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string to get. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a... Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all... Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey able to fight through one tackle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. On second down, McCaffrey. Able to fight for about four yards there to the third. In a situation that we're not really focused on. Jarius Wright. There to make the grab. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. How about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed.
Gano for the extra point. And the lead is now an even 30. So that drive, four plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out is good. I know on the sideline, they'll be going over things and talking about what the coverages are and what they're seeing. So you used to look at the Microsoft Surface Pro. He's got to analyze what he's seeing and be more accurate with the ball. Looking deep for Hilton. And go. Brissett now. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. They go play action with Brissett. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Eric Ebron. Into the air once more, it's Brissett. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. In front of created space, you've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to blocking. In three. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And some space here. That one good for 33 in the first. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. Polluting the pressure right. They will find Davis. That's complete. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Hey, hey, tight end's right. Watch tight end. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the switch football out, and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. <laughs> Throwing on third down, Newton. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. A 52-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it certainly appears like a 50-50 ball, right? We always talk about that when both sides have a chance to get it, the receiver or the guy covering him. But I think see the ball coming oftentimes before the defender can get his head around. So I think that really goes to like 70-30, and they should be able to go up and get it most of the time. And he got it there. Here's Marlon Mack. About three yards there to the 27. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got a chance to pin their ears back and get after him now. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Now the set. And he's got Rodgers. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Whip, 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 whip. Watch the whip. Oh. Out of the gun, Brissett. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. On second down now. It's Hines, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. To throw is Brissett. His pass caught at the four. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Check. Crouch. 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 We're set to throw for it on fourth. And he's got his tight end. That's Ebron, and it's a Colt touchdown. Eric Ebron. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Colts are able to cut into this lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Carolina getting set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that hey, position hey, again? Hey, and I would dare 50, say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. For the first play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. Mike 50. Mike 50. 
Third down, here's McCaffrey. Yeah, he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he's lost a yard. Christian McCaffrey unable to get to the marker. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, listen, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. It was Eric Reed in on the stop. On second and nine, Brissett. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. The Colts on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kinkley that picks it. And the return will stop right around the 25. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. On first down, it's Newton. Flushed out right. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 46, and his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence. The and for the it's an interception. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kinkley that picks it. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to make it third down and ten. 
finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. Now a toss. This is McCaffrey. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. On first down, a running play ends up going backwards as he won't get close to the line of scrimmage. In fact, he's going to lose four yards. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. want to keep this clock rolling so they'll take that one right there they just want to keep falling forward and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home McCaffrey and he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line down under two minutes to go in this football game so it's Panther football as we welcome you back what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got a cool attack. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. His second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Trey Boston. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. They'll run with McCaffrey. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. There to stop it was Darius Leonard. McCaffrey on a toss right. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside, but they can really shred your defense. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. It's a 
Now a run with McCaffrey. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same conversation after the production meeting, but obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, Let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.